Good morning, my pre-K three friends. This is Mrs. Klein and I'm videoing you so that you can somehow see me and maybe that will put a smile on your face to make you feel like we're not so far away. I know it's hard and a lot of you probably don't understand what's going on in the world because as a parent of a four-year-old, when I try to explain to her why we can't go to the mall or why we can't go shopping, it's difficult for her to understand when I say we can't. She doesn't understand why and what's going on. But just know that this too shall pass and we will be together again. And I am praying every day that it is sooner rather than later. So I hope you are enjoying this time with mom and dads and your siblings. I hope you're spending a lot of quality time together, whether it's putting puzzles together, playing board games together, anything that is bringing your family closer during this time of isolation in your home. Just know I think about you, I pray about you every day, and I am praying that we can all get back to school and be back with our routine again. So like I said, I miss you all. I'm thinking about you and praying for you each and every day. So on that note, today I wanted to do a circle time with you. Of course, it's going to be a little bit different because we're not in school, we're not face-to-face, -face, and I don't have all my resources here with me. But I'm going to do my best to make you feel like you're at least a little bit part of school today. So let's get started. The first thing we do every day is, I hope you all said prayer. So let's start our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our dear Father, Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our dear Father, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I hope my kids at home are listening, and you all show mom and dad how much you know that prayer. When I come back to you during another circle time, we'll be doing the Hail Mary. So make sure you're practicing your prayers, whether it's just our Father who art in heaven, or you're utilizing Brother, Brother Francis online to sing those prayers. So my friends, I always ask, 
What do we do next? I think I know. We do, good morning preschool friends, how are you? Good morning preschool friends, how are you? Good morning preschool friends, good morning preschool friends, good morning preschool friends, how are you? I hope you all are having a fantastic day so far. And I hope you're going to take this that I'm showing you and utilize it at home at moms and dads because I know you all can play teacher and you can be Mrs. Klein for the day. Have moms and dads sit in that circle time and you do a circle time for them. I know you can do it. So what do we do next? Can I hear you sing, good morning, Mrs. Klein, how are you? Good morning, Mrs. Klein, how are you? Good morning, Mrs. Klein. Good morning, Mrs. Klein. Good morning, Mrs. Klein. How are you? Now, usually I say I'm fantastic because I'm with all my friends, but I can't say that, so I'm a little bit sad. I'm sad I'm not with you guys. I'm sad I'm not in school and getting those hugs. Ooh, those bear hugs that I miss so much. And uh, I hope we're there soon because I'm definitely, definitely missing those hugs. So, after that, we do open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, place them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, <gasps> but do not let them in. I hope you're all laughing because you all used to laugh during that one. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, lips are closed, hands are still, feet are very quiet. You should really try it. Listening well, listening well. Oh my goodness, great job. So I know when we do attendance, we always say, Alex, Alex, are you here today? So instead of doing that, I'm going to say, Class, class, are you here today? Class, class, yes, you're here today. C is for class, k -k class, k -k class, C is for class. And then after that, you pick a class greeting. And since you're not with me, I am going to pick, and I am going to pick hug. I know you all loved your high five, but I'm gonna do hug this time because I miss you all so much. So put your hands up and give a squeeze and let's give each other a nice, huge virtual hug. Ooh, I can feel it. I can feel you all giving me a nice, nice hug. And then of course I'm tickling you and you're all laughing. And that's what I miss the most. Okay, so after that, we always go over our calendar. So let me just move this so you guys can see that I did bring my calendar. I hope you can see it. Let me see. There we go. So my friends, who remembers what month we are in? Now, I know a lot of you always said it right, but I hope you all said March because it's been a while. Now, hopefully you can see it. I can bring it up closer. Sorry, my friends, this is a learning curve for me. So let's spell March. M A R C H. March. Yes, even though March is almost over, we are still in March. So after that, my friends, we normally say, how many months are in a year? I hope you all said 12. 12 months in a year. And what are they, my friends? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Awesome job, my friends. I know you're all singing and participating and that, my friends, is putting such a huge smile on Mrs. Klein's face. So we know the month is March. Now, let me bring this closer again. Now, who knows what day is today? 
Is today Monday? I think you said Monday. It is. So it is Monday. So my friends, if today is Monday, what day is tomorrow? You're right. It is Tuesday. Now, my tricky question as always, if today is Monday, what was yesterday? Right, I'm sure some of you said it. It was Sunday. So you have Monday. What comes before Monday is Sunday. What comes after Monday is Tuesday. Okay, my friends. So how many days are in a week? There are seven days in a week. And what are they? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Awesome. You guys still got it. So keep up with the good work because it's always going to stay in your mind. And when we get back to school, you're going to be so smart. You're already going to know all this stuff. And I'm not even going to have to go back and start over because... All my friends are super smart, and I have complete confidence that moms and dads are helping you so much during these three weeks that we are apart. Okay, so like we said, our month is March. The day is Monday. So the next thing we do is we have to count, and we have a lot of numbers to count on this board. So let's all get ready to count so that we can find the date. Are we ready? Okay, let's go. And always wait until I point and then count. I want to make sure you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Great job. So today is number 23. So let me get that. Normally, one of you get picked to put the number on the board, but you're not here with me, so I am going to do it. So this is 23. It's a two and a three. Everyone look at it and say 23. Awesome. So I'm going to put this up and repeat after me. Ready? So Monday, March 23rd. 2020. You all always used to say that before I could get the words out. So I know you did too. So awesome. So we did our calendar. We know the month, we know the date, and we know the day. So awesome job, my friends. So the next thing we used to do is talk about weather. And unfortunately, it's not sunny, so we don't get to sing our Mr. Sun song. But how about we sing it? Maybe it'll come out tomorrow. So let's sing it for moms and dads. Ready? Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the trees. All my friends are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, Please shine down on me. I need that sun to come out because when the sun's out, I'm smiling. We get vitamin D. We can go outside in our backyards and play. And that's what we need, that fresh air, instead of being cooped up in the house for so long. So hopefully, fingers crossed, praying that it gets a little bit nice so we can go outside and enjoy the beautiful world that God has created us. But unfortunately... <laughs> If you can believe it, it is actually snowing. Maybe not where you are. You all live in different towns, cities. But in Fall River, where I am, it is snowing. So I'm going to put the snowflake up. I don't have the weather calendar, so I'm going to put it right here. 
And I can't believe it's snowing. Like, really? We're going through all of this and now it's snowing? Come on! But this too shall pass. Spring is here. The warm weather is going to come. Don't you worry about a thing. We are in the season of spring. Now, who remembers what our seasons are? Hmm. So, we have... Did someone say summer? Yes, summer is definitely um, a season. What else do we have? I think someone said winter. Right, winter. We have winter. And what else? What season are we in that I just said? Very good. Spring. So we have, we're missing one. We have spring, summer, winter. What's the other one? What is the one where all the leaves fall down, they turn colors, and actually it is one of my favorite seasons. Very good, it's fall. So we have spring, summer, fall, winter. Those are our four seasons, and right now we are in the season of spring. Who knows what comes after spring? Awesome, it is summer, which is also one of my favorites, but Truth be told, I don't like it when it's so hot. Oh uh, no, I like it when it's like 75. That's pretty much my max. But it's obviously gonna get harder than that. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to summer. So it's coming, don't you worry about a thing. This, no, it's no big deal. It's not gonna matter. Anyway, so my friends, tell me, what do we do after that? We did our calendar, we did our prayers, we sang songs, what else? You're right, we go over our letters. So, yes, uh, last week with moms and dads, you went over the letter U. So this week we're on a new letter, but we're like we do every time during circle time, we are going to review all of our letters. Now remember, don't look at me, don't look at mom and dad, look at the cards and say the letter out loud and show moms and dads how many letters you know. They are gonna be so proud of you. So let's get started, ready? A, 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 A. Who knows a word that starts with A? What name? Alexander, there's two of them. Alexander Alfonso, Alexander Gomez. B, awesome, B, B, B. For Brielle, for ball, and so many other words. C, K, K, C. We have a lot of C friends. So we have Charlotte, two Charlottes, Valerio and Corin. Charlotte and Co Charlotte, Corin and Charlotte Valerio. Letter C. D, 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 D for dog and dominoes. So many D words. E, E. E. Do we have E names in our class? We do. We have an Emma. Who else, my friends? Hmm. Ezra. Ezra starts with E, right? F. F, F, F. F. Makes the F sound for flower and fun and fantastic. G. 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 Now G is for... God, God, who's going to get us through this difficult time. H, H is for hope, because we need to have hope during this difficult time. I, 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 now I is for igloo. I is for ice cream. Mmm, I know you all love your ice cream. J, great job, J, 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 J for Jesus, right? K, K, right, it is K, K for kangaroo, awesome. Ooh, this is L, ooh, L. For love, Mrs. Klein loves all of her friends so much. M, very good. Mm, mm, M for Maddox, right? Mm, N for Niacin, Noah. Oh, 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 ooh, ooh, 
of octopus and octagon, ostrich, and so many other O words. P, P for pool, P for play, which I hope you all are doing. If I encourage every, anything during these three weeks is play, because you're going to learn so much through playing with your siblings and your moms and dads. Trust me. All children learn through play. So make sure you're playing and having fun. What letter is this? Q, 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 Q. Very good for quilts. And what else? I know you know some quail. Very good. What else? Queen. The Queen of England. Very good. What letter is this? R. R. R for rabbits and run. What is this? I always say it looks like a snake. S snake for the letter S. T -t Very good, letter T. T, -t, T for time and table. Now, you did this last week. Who remembers what it is with mom and dad? You, 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 you. Very good. For umbrella, unicorn. Awesome. Utensils. So many U words, too. And this week, we're starting the letter V, 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 V. So, my friends, this is what letter V looks like. Uppercase and lowercase. Some words that start with the letter V is violin, vase, what else? Vegetables, which you all should be eating your vegetables. So this is what it looks like. This is your letter of the week. So let's start. So I, like I mentioned in my emails, I made a little, I don't have my all my stuff from school, so I did it at home. I got a little shallow dish and I put some sugar at the bottom. And I'm going to make the letter V in my little sugar, see, sugar sensory bin. Let me see. Can you see it? I'm sorry. This is all new to me, this whole virtual thing. Let's see. There we go. So I think you can see it. So I'm going to make a V. I'm going to go top to bottom and go up. And look, can you see it? I made the letter V in my sugar tray, my sugar sensory tray, as I will call it. Now, also, I also need something else that you can try at home. All you need is a little paint. If you have some gel that makes it a little better too, you can add it inside. So I use green because we're still in March and green is for St. Patrick's Day. So V, I got to use the other hand. I'm sorry. I am not left-handed. So can you see it? Hi, I'm sorry. I think I need to recruit some of my kids for this. So, it is a Ziploc bag that I made full of paint and a little bit of gel. And I did this at home. So, I'm going to push down. Ooh. And, oh boy, go up. And I made the letter V in this Ziploc bag with paint and gel. And it makes a letter V and it's fun because you, then you can wipe it and you can also do other letters. Like if you want to make a P, you can make a P or if you want to make a letter in your name, like A for Alex, look at that, I made an A or we'll do an S for Sophia. Here's our S for Sophia. How about, hmm, we'll do another, we, A we did, A for Alexander, A for Amethyst. How about, want to try a letter E for Emma, Elizabeth, and Ezra. Look, there's so many fun things you can do with this. Now, not only letters, you can start practicing your numbers. So, one. And two, actually it looks more like a Z. Let me fix that. Two, 
Number two. So there's so many fun things you can do. And this saves for a very long time, moms and dads. So if you really, like I said, you just want to put a little paint. You don't even have to use gel, but I had gel. I put a little bit of gel in there and I was able to make something. I wish I could just do it right in front of you, but it's hard. Ooh, no, it's not going to work. But I'm sure you know what I mean. So now we got all of our little sensory things that I would like you guys to try over the week if you could. Um, we're going to go to over numbers right now. So I always either do it with cards, which our children are aware of, but today I'm going to use this. So as I point to the number, I would like you to try to say it. So are we ready? Because I am. Let's go. What number is this, my friends? Awesome. Number three. What is this? Right, number one. What number is this? Four, awesome. What about this? Two, awesome. I know you know these numbers. Okay, so let's go to the second row. What number is this? Awesome, you said it, seven. What about this number? Awesome, number five. What number is this? Yes, you got it. You've been practicing. Number eight. And what number is this one? Five. What number is this? Tricky, tricky, but I know you know it. Eleven. What number is this? Awesome. Great job. Number nine. And this number? Twelve. And this number is? 10. Yeah, I know you know that one. So now let's just go in order. And remember, keep your eyes focused on the numbers, not me. So let's go like this. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Awesome. Next week, I'm going to make things a little harder. We're going to move up because there are some friends that can go past that. So we're going to challenge you to more numbers. So I know I went through the letters and I just want to make sure parents are aware I send some names. I'm going to be changing up the names as I go. I know I have a lot more friends with names like Ava Avery. So please don't think that I am discriminating against them. I just want to keep enough names available for when I do this again for you guys. So please, your names will be said because I miss all of you, not just certain ones. I love you all so very much. Um, so after that, we do our numbers. We do um, a, a, a book, but I'm not going to do a book today only because I want to save that for another day. I will be reading you a story. Um, on the same YouTube channel, channel that I am going to send you the link to with this video that I have made for you guys today. So don't worry. And I'm also going to try to do a science experiment with you guys and videotape that. So bear with me. It's obviously a learning curve, just as it's a learning curve for you. I hope you understand that this is all new to me. I've never had to do online pre-K teaching um, because it is a little bit tricky because A, I don't have my resources. B, I don't have Google Classroom like the older grades have. Um, I just don't have as much resources, again, because we're pre-K, so we're more hands-on. So being virtual is not always easy in this kind of um, atmosphere with my pre-K kids. But please know I am doing my best. Moms and dads, if you're he hearing me, I really, really, I know I've said this before, do not feel bad. Send me feedback. Send me ideas because I will take all of them and I will do as many as I can as possible because I want this to be, I, I don't want you to miss out. I don't want you all to regress and fall behind. I want them to keep up with as much as they can. I did send you all those worksheets um, probably the first week. Like I said, do not do all of them. Pick and choose if you want to do worksheets. Um, also, I will be sending you, like I did last week, different ideas that you can do with the letter of the week. And by all means, if you have ideas that you've done that you seem to work, give those ideas to me. I am in my third year of teaching. I'm going into my fourth. But
but I am one that loves ideas. I'm constantly looking for new ideas, and maybe some of you have taken online classes before that you can reach out to, to me and say, hey, look, this really works. Why don't you try it? And I absolutely will. I will not take offense to it because at this time, I'm willing to take any suggestions that you may have. So please keep in mind, send me emails, whatever it is that you think you want to see from me, or if you want more from me, I will gladly do my best to accommodate each and every one of you. So on that note, before I leave, I did write down some ideas that you can do this week for the letter V. So when we were in class, uh, we obviously do a craft. <laughs> we do a lot of crafts in class, as you can see. Um, so we're on the letter V. V is for vegetables. So whatever you have lying around the house, if you have some paint, this is what we did last year. Um, we took peppers. We took broccoli, we took potatoes, uh, corn. I don't know if you can see the corn. They would take the corn on the cob and roll it um, on the paper. And it came out super cute. So you have any vegetable, like celery, broccoli, anything that you have, let them paint with that. V is for vegetables. This, I'm telling you, was a huge hit with my class last year. I'm so sad that I can't do it with them personally. But this is definitely an idea. We also did this last year. It's V for vase. So obviously, if you don't have popsicle sticks, you can always draw a vase and then um, just do their handprints as the flowers. If you don't have pipe cleaners, draw it. No big deal. You have to improvise just like I'm improvising here, not being in my classroom with you. Um, so also sensory, you can do the sugar lace uh, letter tracing like I did the... Um, bag that I made and it's not just for the letter V, have them practice all the letters, have them practice their number writing because we really haven't gotten into their writing of the numbers yet. Also, um, sidewalk chalk. Is it nice out, which it better be soon because I need to get outside and get some vitamin D. Write the letter V on the sidewalk, on, on your um, patio, whatever it is. Where do you have um, places to write with sidewalk chalk? Then find things around your yard that you can trace the letter V with, like maybe little pebbles, maybe some mulch, maybe even flowers that are starting to bloom because it is spring. Um, then line it up with the letter V. Super cool, sent a super cool nature thing to do outside, hands on, get them outside with nature and also learning about the letter V. So those are just some ideas. Obviously, there's plenty more that you can find on Pinterest. Uh, as we get to the end of the letters, it does, there's not much left to do with X, Y, and Z, but I have plenty that I have done, so don't you worry, I will find it. And W, of course, I missed out W. Um, and I will also be showing you, depending on how long we are away from each other, I have some awesome Easter activities as well to do. For religion, keep practicing those prayers. I want you this week, one day, to pray the rosary with your family and to pick um, a story from the Bible. Hope uh, I would prefer if you have a children's Bible, it's easier for them to understand. Take out that children's Bible, read a story, and then talk about it. And if anybody has any questions about anything, I am always here. Put me to work, like I said in your emails. If you want me to do something, please, I need to do something. It is um, hard being here at home. And I know homeschooling is tough. I have, like I said, my four-year-old, and I can just, uh, I'll just leave you with this. We worked all day on the letter N. We went through a book. We read a book together, and she had to find all the letter Ns, and she found the letter Ns, and she wrote the letter N. At the end of the whole lesson, I said, okay, Peyton, what letter did we learn? H. Oh, so I know it's hard. I know sometimes you feel like, I, I don't know if I can do this. But you can because they all learn at different rates. Some of them know all their letters. Some of them only know a little bit. Some of them know all their numbers. Some of them only know a little bit. But don't get discouraged because they are still little. They are still babies. So have fun with them. When they're you know playing with their Legos, tell them, I want you to build mommy a tower. When they build that tower, then say, okay, well, how many blocks did you use to make that tower? And they'll be able to use math and they'll be able to use their engineering skills with building a tower. So there's so many things that you can do. And I know that you all are doing a fantastic job at home, looking on Pinterest, finding some wonderful ideas to do for religion, to do for math, to do for science. So I'm so proud of all of you that are taking that initiative with these kids. 
um, and I truly appreciate it. So like I said, any ideas, feedback, things you want to see me do, please, 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 please send them to me. I love you all. I miss you. Oh my gosh. I miss you all so, so, so much. So let's give each other that virtual hug one more time. Put your arms around you and squeeze, 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 squeeze. I'm squeezing you all right now. And I am praying, praying that we are all together very, very, very soon. So this week, look out for videos from me doing a science experiment, reading a story, and hopefully I can come up with some other ideas that I can post for you guys. I'm going to be setting up this YouTube channel, channel like I said. I'm going to figure out how to make it private so that no one else can see it, and I will copy the link to you. Again, I miss you all. I love you all so, so much. This is Mrs. Klein. Very sad. Signing out. I love you all, honey. I do.